Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to talk about a concept called equations. It is a part of work power energy in our regular academic syllabus. Let us see first of all, what do you mean by a correlation? So, the name, uh, the simple English name gives you a kind of feeling that one body has to If it hits some another body, we can probably assume something like collision is happening. That the first body is traveling, it's going to hit some another body, then we could say probably the collision is happening. So we can say collision is a kind of a a simple kind of a meaning like it's a physical interaction between the bodies which is not actually true for the bodies said to be having a collision at least as per science they need not have a physical interaction now what happens when the bodies collide with each other we say initially that the bodies are moving with some different velocities u1 and u2 let's assume something like u1 is greater than u2 therefore first body will come and collide then what happens is the diagram what i have drawn here is before collision what happens after the collision is still the body's masses remains constant same now the bodies will be traveling probably with different velocities this kind of thing is called something like collision so this is about after the collision so what do you mean by a collision is it's a way of transfer of energy between one body to another body and a transfer of momentum from one, one body to another body. So the simple way of defining a collision is transfer of momentum. If that happens between the two bodies and transfer of kinetic energy if that happens between the bodies then collision is said to be done so be clear and careful that bodies need not physically interact for this to happen probably you may do remember the famous rutherford alpha scattering experiment we send alpha particles towards a thin gold plate having atoms we understood that there is a nucleus here in the atoms when we send so many alpha particles we understand that very few will come back they are actually going very close to the nucleus but you know they are not hitting the nucleus they are coming back even before hitting the nucleus some other alpha particles will get distracted like this you know that because alpha particle is having a positive charge Nucleus is also having a positive charge between the similar charges because of the protons. There is a repulsion, you know, similar charges repel each other. Therefore, even before alpha particle go and strike the nucleus, that repulsion will push alpha this particle away or direct them or deviate them when the particle goes to the close of the nucleus. Of course, that nucleus size will be very small. Therefore, Many of the alpha particles goes undeviated, we know that. Very few will be getting deflected because they are going to close to the nucleus, which has confirmed to us that the size of the nucleus is much smaller than that of the atom. But coming back to the collisions point, what I would like to tell you is, here I would like to say this alpha particle has collided with this nucleus. But have you noticed that there is no physical interaction here? alpha particle has not strike in the nucleus physically but still there is a transfer of momentum kinetic energy path of the alpha particle is diverted velocity got changed kinetic energy got changed momentum changed then the collision is ready to happen therefore the very important definition of a collision that we need to know is if there is a transfer of momentum and kinetic energy among the bodies then collision is said to be happened there may be a physical interaction 
and there may not be a physical interaction. That's how we have to define the collision. Then when you come to that point, we can understand that in many of the collisions, when one body hits the other body, a kind of a sound can come, a kind of a spark can come like light, body also becomes hot. So these are all nothing but the forms of energies. So from where these energies are coming? Actually, a part of the kinetic energy of the colliding bodies is transferred to a part of a sound, light or heat or all of them together. So here, the kinetic energy is not conserved. Some of the kinetic energies are converted into some other parts. So I would like to say, in this case, Initial kinetic energy of the system is final kinetic energy of the system plus this extra energy is maybe something like sound plus light or heat or any one of them. It simply tells you that the kinetic energy final is less than the kinetic energy initial. This kind of a collision only where finite, finite kinetic energy is not equal to initial kinetic energy is called something like inelastic collision. So this kind of a collision is called something like inelastic collision. So I can define inelastic collision now. A collision in which only momentum is conserved. Momentum is conserved but kinetic energy not conserved. This kind of a collision is called something like an inelastic collision. Many of the collisions that we see in, the, in our real life are nothing but inelastic collisions. But we can consider some ideal collisions where initial kinetic energy is equal to final kinetic energy. That means there is no loss of kinetic energy. And of course, momentum is conserved. Momentum initial equal to momentum final. Then we can say this kind of a momentum is called, this kind of a collision is called something like elastic collision. So, at a rough sense, we can say collision means transfer of kinetic energy and momentum between the bodies, two or multiple bodies. Depending on how does this transfer of momentum and kinetic energy is happening, this collision is of two types. It could be an elastic collision where kinetic energy is conserved as well as momentum is conserved. It could be an inelastic collision where only momentum is conserved but kinetic energy is not conserved. Some of the kinetic energy is wasted in the form of light, heat or else sound. Thus, either the collision is an elastic collision or an elastic collision, the point that we can understand is momentum is anyway conserved. So, the common point that we can say is in any kind of a collision, in any collision, momentum is always conserved. Momentum is Momentum is mathematically the product of the mass and the velocity is always conserved. That means momentum initial of the system equal to momentum final. Momentum is shown with a term P which is nothing but the product of mass and the velocity. So here I will stop being just an introductory class of the collisions. Let's come back to the next lesson and see what do you mean by elastic and inelastic collisions and how do we explain them. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.